Hi everyone, my name is Brianna and thank you for joining me today. Today is the 49th anniversary of Roe v. Wade, the landmark Supreme Court decision ensuring the constitutional right to access an abortion. Since this day, 49 years ago, the right to access an abortion has been chipped away by anti-abortion extremists. Right now, in the state of Texas, after six weeks gestation, abortion is banned and has been for over 140 days. This summer, the Supreme Court could overthrow Roe completely and making this the last Roe anniversary we were able to celebrate. This is why we've decided to honor this day with this event. Behind me, you will see a banner that reads to all the Roes, meaning all of those who in this country who have received an abortion and will receive an abortion in their lifetime. Today, we recognize and honor those, all of those who have received abortions and uplift the voices of those who support them. We know that abortion is a common and necessary procedure. One in four women will receive an abortion in their lifetime, and the vast majority of Americans and Texans support the right to access an abortion. Over the past few days, we've collected stories from those across the state of Texas, sharing why they support Roe v. Wade in accessing abortion. We will hear those stories, and they will be present below in the ticker. We will also have a few speakers from across the state of Texas, from Brownsville to Dallas, Houston to El Paso. Finally, we will honor a hero in the abortion movement, Sarah Weddington, who argued the Roe v. Wade case nearly 50 years ago in front of the Supreme Court. Sarah passed away this past December, and just shy of this anniversary. Hi, I'm Diana Gomez, Advocacy Director at Progress Texas, and I'm in Austin. In 2021, the Texas legislature passed a six-week abortion ban, the strictest in the nation, but this ban is just the latest in a long line of attacks on abortion rights. Texas lawmakers have passed numerous laws to impose barriers and restrict abortion ever since Roe was first decided, like requiring doctors to give medically inaccurate information before an abortion or requiring unnecessary sonograms. The list goes on. This latest Texas ban is a preview of what the future could look like across the nation if Roe were to fall. But no matter what the court decides, abortion is essential healthcare and together, we're going to continue fighting to expand abortion access. Our vision is bigger. We are committed to creating communities where our loved ones are able to receive the abortion care that they need and deserve. Access to abortion is not just about legality. It's about our dignity, our humanity, and our freedom. El acceso al aborto no se trata solo de legalidad. Se trata de nuestra dignidad, nuestra humanidad, y nuestra libertad. Estamos comprometidos a crear comunidades donde nuestros seres queridos pueden recibir los servicios de aborto que necesitan. Access to abortion is important to so many Texans, and you can see the stories from people all across the state at the bottom of your screen now for why abortion is important to them. And I want to read just one for you from a supporter in Austin. Abortion access matters to me because all pregnant people deserve the right to make their own choices about their bodies, their families, and their future. I had an abortion in February, 2021. The staff at the clinic were amongst the most compassionate and caring people that I've ever met. My partner and I desperately wanted a child, but after I became pregnant, we found out that our baby had a condition that would greatly impact the quality of her life. We did not want our daughter to suffer for one more second so we chose to have an abortion. I regret deeply that I was not able to cure my daughter's illness, but I have never once regretted my decision to have an abortion. My choice to have an abortion was one made out of love for my baby. All pregnant people deserve the dignity to decide what is right for their family. We know that she is not alone. A majority of Texans support Roe versus Wade and think that abortion should be legal and accessible. Hello, my name is Barbie. My pronouns are they, them, ella, and I'm in San Antonio. Access to safe and legal abortion is a fundamental human right not only for cis women, but also for trans, non-binary folks, and anybody else that is able to carry a pregnancy regardless of gender. Access to safe and legal abortion is a critical part of achieving reproductive justice. 
It matters to me and my community because it means we'll have access to the quality of life that we desire and that we deserve to be our full authentic selves physically, emotionally, and spiritually, to be safe and have bodily autonomy and live in a safe and sustainable community. And I know that other people in San Antonio agree with me. People like this supporter uh, from San Antonio who submitted this story. At 22, I found myself pregnant by a guy I barely knew and could barely provide for myself, much less a baby. When I told my boyfriend I was pregnant, he looked me straight in the eye and with a tone I'll never forget said, we're gonna get married and you're gonna have this baby. At that point, I knew I needed to get out of that relationship away from him and could not have his baby. That was 10 years ago and to this day, I do not regret my decision. I fully believe that if I had had that guy's baby, he would have used it as a tool to manipulate and control my life. It was the right decision for me to have an abortion. It would be a travesty if future young people weren't allowed to make these decisions and this choice for themselves. Whether you aren't ready to have kids, never want kids, or in a position that is not right for you, the decision whether or not to have children should be yours and yours alone. No one should be able to force you to carry a pregnancy. My name is Lean Garza and I'm in Brownsville. Getting an abortion is already really difficult anywhere in Texas, but it is especially hard in the Rio Grande Valley. Residents across the RGV face multiple barriers when it comes to seeking any kind of health care because of over-militarization, poverty, and lack of reliable transportation. Not to mention how expensive it has always been to get an abortion in the region but having to travel out for abortion care more than doubles that cost and puts people at risk of racial discrimination when having to cross an unnecessary checkpoint. And the worst part of it all is that abortion is no longer an option for an undocumented person and forcing birth onto them when they too should have access to safe abortion care. Like Diana and Austin said, we collected stories from across the state of people who support access to abortion. A supporter from McAllen wrote, Roe v. Wade has nothing to do with the way I feel about abortion. For me, it's always been pro-choice. It's my body, my choice. 40 years ago, I'm glad I had abortion access. It wasn't the right time or place for me to have a child. I had my whole future ahead of me, and I don't regret my choice. Having an abortion is a personal decision that only the person seeking care can make. We all deserve the dignity to decide whether or not to be pregnant. Anything else is a violation of our human rights. Hi, my name is Avid Betis and I'm in El Paso. I support abortion access because I believe that women and all people should have the ability to decide what is best for them, their families, and their futures. And I wanna read you a quick story from somebody else who supports abortion access in El Paso. My daughter already has two children and is in an abusive relationship. She has been on the birth control pill and shot, but still she got pregnant again. She was trying to get out of her relationship, and when she found out she was pregnant again, she did not know what to do. I helped her with her expenses, and we had to travel to New Mexico when she could have done it in Texas. It's our right to decide what we want to do with our body. We know that abortion is essential health care, and it should be accessible to us in our hometowns and in our home state. We should not have to travel to New Mexico 
or to Louisiana or to Oklahoma or to Colorado to access the care that we need. Hi, my name is Joanna and I'm from the DFW area. Abortion matters to me because it empowered me to make the decision that was right for myself. When I found out I was pregnant in 2017, I knew immediately that I wanted to have an abortion. And Roe v. Wade gave me that choice. It also gave me the opportunity to continue my education and go on to the master's program. Abortion is foundational to our social and economic equality, reproductive autonomy, and the right to determine our own futures. As the anniversary of Roe v. Wade approaches, we have to consider whether it might be its last. Everyone deserves to have a choice. And if there was ever a time to speak up for our constitutional right to abortion, it's right now. I'm Astrid Fuentes and I'm in Dallas, Texas. It's been so inspiring to hear from so many people across the state share their stories and why abortion access and Roe versus Wade matter to them. Today, I have the honor of talking about someone who inspires me, Sarah Weddington. Sarah was a trailblazer for abortion rights in this country. Sarah became the youngest person ever to argue before the Supreme Court at just 26 when she argued Roe versus Wade. With a bold decision to fight for our rights, she changed the course of history and ensured every American had the right to access abortion. Sarah went on to be elected for three terms to the Texas House of Representatives, serving at a time when there were very few women serving in that chamber. She also served in the U.S. Department of Agriculture and was an adjunct professor at the University of Texas and a lecturer at Texas Women's University. Sarah's example and the deep roots that Roe has here in Dallas motivated me to pursue law school. Sarah inspires me daily to remain in this fight and build the future that we want. Roe and the access to abortion matter because we know that only we can decide what is best for our lives and our bodies and our future. Today, I light a candle in honor of Sarah Weddington and I commit to doing everything that I can to protect her legacy and fight for access to abortion for future generations. And I invite you to light a candle in honor of Sarah and our collective fight. Thank you. Thank you S3 for that touching tribute and thank you all for joining us on this adventure across the state of Texas. The right to bodily autonomy, autonomy is a human right that we all deserve and we will never stop fighting. Please use the link in the chat below to share why abortion is important to you. You can also share this video with friends and family, letting them know why abortion is important to, important to you. Speaking out is the only way to end stigma and save Roe. Thank you.